so hello everyone so this is our another vertical live stream and today we are going to discuss about the what process engineers do okay so mainly we will discuss about the what process engineers do in the epc company okay so mainly in epc epcm pcm okay all these companies the process engineer works is almost same right some like somehow the scope of working could be changed but what exactly a process engineers do so mainly the process engineers are comes from the chemical engineering background uh, like sometimes i have seen chemical engineer like uh, process engineers from the petrochemical engineering background as well right so mainly they are responsible for the see whenever the project comes so we provide the basic engineering package okay or basic design engineering package and after that we do the detail engineering okay and if there is the construction uh, activities also like if the epc project is that so obviously you will do the construction part as well so in that you will assist okay for example if you have to procure the pump right so you will do the all the activities like from preparing pds then helping a rotary engineer in mds then you will you will have the rotary engineer to prepare the mr then the offer will come you will check that offer right and after that it will go for the again for the procurement and then inspection and while commissioning if there will be any help required from your side okay and so you will do and in in last you will prepare the as built document or as built pnid you can say okay so what is the bep package right so bep is a basic engineering package where a process engineer prepares the bunch of documents for example your design basis process flow diagram block flow diagram pnid line list wall list pipeline like piping specification wall specification color code color coding then instrument data sheet equipment data sheet uh, like your control philosophy and so that bunch of documents is prepared in the basic engineering package and that is delivered to the client okay now in the same time what happens that when you prepare these all the documents you have to do the backup calculation okay for the line sizing for example so you will have to you must know the like concept of the pressure drop you must have to understand about the what is continuity equation why how we do that okay and when you are doing the pump hydraulic so you must know about the what is the centrifugal pump why centrifugal pump how to do the calculation how to calculate what on the basis of that only you can prepare the pds of the pump right when see if you are not able to calculate head you are not able to calculate suction pressure discharge pressure then how can you prepare the pds right and which moc is suitable for which service that like that has to be see or check as a process engineer okay so whenever you are designing something whenever you are doing sizing some okay for some vessels and some equipment so what is the backup of that what is the technical know how if you are if you understand that and if you are enthusiastic about that then yes you can become a good process engineer okay whatever the philosophy behind any particular equipment what is the designing philosophy what is the sizing philosophy what is the selection philosophy if you know you can become a good process engineer so that's how the process engineers mainly do in the epc company in detail engineering they check they review the document they check the vendors documents okay then they comment if there is any like misalignment we can say or discrepancy and as per that as per their experience and the other documents see all the documents should be aligned your pnid should be aligned with your equipment list your pfd okay and your other documents same all documents should be aligned with each other that's how the any package build any epc project done has like have done right or same for the process engineer you are responsible for that activities that must be ensured by the every process engineer so initially i have seen that when a new process engineers or gt comes in a process engineering domain so they have that 
like not that much clarity that what a process engineers do so that's how the process engineer works okay if you will go some big companies like Bechtel, Technip, Samsung Engineering, McDormand, then there can be a specific work which you will have to perform. For example, only sizing you will have to perform for the pressurized vessel or you can be maybe perform some other activities, but that will be to be specific. Okay. So in that activities, you, you can be a master. Okay. But in small companies, you have the exposure of everything means you have to do the line sizing you have to do the pressure like uh, pressure uh, pump sizing you have to also do the equipment sizing all the activities you will have to do one by one one by one one by one so that is the one advantage working in a small companies and then you can switch to the big companies obviously in big companies also you have lot of lo lot of work lot of learning opportunity the softwares are there for example spin high stays stri pipe net etc right but in small companies they do not mainly use the aspen hyces because of the cost and other softwares they mainly use the uh, microsoft excel so already i have i have told you so many times that microsoft excel is very very important as an process engineer or as an engineer right if you are good in microsoft excel so many activities you can be performed there the software is also important okay but Excel is also important. That's I want to say. If you have any doubt that what process engineers do, okay, I hope like from this live, you are now a little bit aware about the process engineers, what is the working of process engineer. But still, if you have any doubt, you can let me in the comments box. I will definitely give the reply as soon as possible. Okay, so that's all for the today's live video. If you have any doubt, please let me in the comments box in which topic we should cover okay and i will do the next live okay for that particular topic so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching take care